Welcome back. Well, if there's one constant for technology, it's that there's no constant at all. And anticipating its direction can make or break companies, even entire industries. Daniel Burris is a futurist and author of the new book, Flash Foresight, How to See the Invisible and Do the Impossible. Good to have you with us. My pleasure. Now, I think uh, if we, we don't have to go back that far, uh, and nobody would have predicted that there would be such a thing as a tablet computer. All I had to do was look at the uh, CES show in Vegas not long ago to see that they will be ubiquitous before we know it. Uh, how quickly is this cycle of the new thing that we can't even imagine coming to pass? Well, the cycles are getting shorter and shorter as obsolescence gets more uh, relevant to us. But, you know, it's not obsolescence is really a non-issue. It's how you use the tool. It's not just the tool itself. And the ability to anticipate where technology is going, it seems like it's impossible, but actually it's quite simple once you learn some of the basics. Daniel, uh, take us through some of those basics. I think a lot of people will be interested in how we can actually look into the future. Amanda said she would have bought Apple at eight bucks earlier. Yeah, definitely. So. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, you know, strategy based on certainty uh, has low risk and high reward, and there's so much uncertainty. Let me give you some good examples. Uh, let's take smartphones for a second. And, and uh, with a smartphone, the next version, whether it's an iPhone or anything else, will it have more storage internally as well as in the cloud? And the answer is, yeah, of course it will. Will it have a better processor? You know, yes, definitely, for certain. Uh, will it have more bandwidth? Yeah, we've got 3G, next is 4G, and it doesn't take a rocket science to see, next is 5G. Will it have streaming video that is high-definition streaming on those cell phones and tablets? And the answer is absolutely. If we have those certainties, what does it mean with certainty? It means we'll be able to transform how we train our workers and, and how we educate people using mobile devices, and that is a certainty. And that, by the way, is not just a change. That represents a major transformation, only one of many transformations. Matter of fact, in that same way, we're about to transform how we sell, how we market, how we communicate, how we collaborate, how we innovate, how we educate, how we train. If you're only changing those things right now, you're in trouble. You created a company called Visionary Apps. Tell me, uh, we're all familiar with apps, at least those of us lucky enough to get an iPad for Christmas. Uh, tell me what the company is about and how futuristic is it? Yeah, well, that was the uh, sixth company I started. I decided to start it at the peak of the uh, recession. Good time to start a company. <laughs> it was kind of like the opposite way to go. And, um, and what I did is I used the principles of uh, Flash Foresight to do that. For example, I could see with certainty that uh, cell phones were, are, have become, that is smartphones, our new computer of choice. It's with us at all times. And because we have a computer, our smartphone, with us at all times, that is a paradigm shift. And apps are the software that runs them. So it's not so much the hardware, it's the apps that run it, software that I wanted to really uh, focus on. So we, what we do at Visionary Apps is we develop apps for smart tablets, smart uh, uh, phones, and by the way, smart TVs, because we're going to have apps running our televisions. You ask ourselves, as a matter of fact, this show is going to be an app, without question. There's a flash foresight for you right there. So we, uh, so we uh, started out with uh, real estate apps. Uh, we've got complete homes, complete rentals, and complete foreclosures, and we launched them first in the United States. Uh, and we're just about to launch them internationally. So if you want to find an apartment in Moscow or a house to live in in Beijing or in Toronto, you'll be able to use our apps to do that. Hmm. Also, I've launched uh, apps for the military. Uh, we've got emergency response apps, for example, on uh, some of the largest military bases in the world, uh, a, a market that most app developers think wouldn't even think of. But then again, that's why I use the subtitle, How to See the Invisible. Once you start thinking about the future, which most of us don't spend enough time doing, the, the new visibility, all of a sudden you can see opportunities you could not see before. So, Daniel, with the crystal ball in place, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Well, what I see myself doing is uh, continuing with uh, apps, of course, trying to revolutionize uh, how we use our tools. But more importantly than apps, what I want to do is lead a very strong charge with this book because I believe we're at a tipping point internationally right now. Uh, we are no longer in a period of change, we're in a period of true transformation and the opportunity is huge. I want to be not only leading the charge now, but leading the charge 10 years from now 
to create a better tomorrow with intention, re in other words, anticipating, rather than just reacting to the changes and putting out fires, which we do way too much. All right, we'll continue to watch and see what, uh, what your next companies are. Uh, great to have you with us, Daniel. Thank you.